This is a true story about a group of men who slept in a cave for 309 years. It was a day of celebration for the whole town. The king sat proud and pleased on a lofty throne as he overlooked his people bowing, prostrating, and presenting offerings to the hundreds of colorful idols. The stone idols provided them with food, water, health, and wealth. And to the king, the yearly festival brought glory and wealth. It was nothing but a cunning deception played by Satan. For there came in the festival a group of young noblemen with hearts unstained of greed and ignorance, rich and young but brave. Disgusted by the practices of their people, they gathered one by one under the shade of a great towering tree. They rejected the idols and claimed Allah is the only God worthy of worship. They left the tree with determination and built a house to worship the one. The foolish people of the town reported the young men to the king. Devotion to one God was rebellion against the king and, more importantly, a threat to his source of prosperity. Guards were sent out, chains were pulled and tied, and the brave young men were dragged on the hard, cold floor of the royal court. They were stripped of their riches and demanded to turn back to the worship of idols or be executed. Our God is the one who created the sky and the earth. We will not worship anyone besides Allah. The young noblemen refused to bow down. The king decided to give them a chance, leaving open a window of opportunity. An opportunity to run and escape. They ran and ran until they came upon a cave. A dark, unknown space became their hideout. But for how long? Family, hunger, thirst, a million fears crossed their mind, but they were too tired now to say or do anything except to raise their hands for help to Allah. And then they slept, though they did not sleep an ordinary sleep, for the sun rose and fell many times while they slept, and the seasons changed their colors a hundred times while they slept. And generations passed on the story of a cave, at the mouth of which lay a ferocious beast with razor claws while they slept. Until, finally, the young men stirred awake, confused and starving. They stretched and yawned as they chatted about how long they had slept for. An hour, half a day or the whole day. But none of it really mattered for their stomachs rumbled with hunger. And so, one of them set out to find something to eat. He walked the dark alleys and isolated corners of the streets. Yet the townspeople noticed him. They nudged and they pointed, they snickered and they stared. These people looked strange to the young man. The streets and alleys felt different, as if he was lost. He entered the first shop he saw and presented a small pouch of silver coins for food. The man in the shop gave him a puzzled look before disappearing inside the pantry. The young man waited and waited until finally he heard loud approaching footsteps from behind. Solemn, uniformed guards entered the shop. He was caught to be taken to the king for his final fate. And that's when the marvelous and remarkable miracle of Allah became known to all. The king on the throne wasn't the same tyrant king. The young man had woken up after 309 years to the reign of a new righteous king who believed in Allah. He honored the young men, and their story was preserved in the Quran for all humanity till the end. Hey kids, to read more free ebooks like these, head to the brand new bookshelf on our website www.lookmay.com and browse through numerous free true stories.
Link given in the description below.